All right, so you've likely seen Quadlock really pushing their product via a lot of advertising dollars in your social media feeds. So after seeing it hundreds of times, it caught my attention and I went out and bought a Quadlock. I really wanted to see what it's all about and I wanted to see if it stacks up to the biker gripper cell phone mount. So is the Quadlock good? Is it affordable? Who's behind this company and are they even motorcyclists? Where are they from? and where do they manufacture their product. So if you're in the market for a motorcycle cell phone mount, you'll definitely want to watch this video. I have a lot of stuff that I'm going to pack in this video, so let's get started. Welcome back, bikeholics. Ryan Erdocker here, lawbidingbiker.com. I always thank you. That's right, you for checking back in. So yes, we have sold the Biker Gripper motorcycle cell phone mount for 10 years now to bikers worldwide. Lots of awesome reviews right in the Law Abiding Biker store. And we use the Biker Gripper exclusively, not only on our street bikes, but when we're riding off-road adventure. All right, so before we get started, I just wanna let you know I have no affiliation with Quadlock. Everything I learned about them is from their website and by actually handling their product. This video in no way is meant to bash Quadlock. Uh, their product or them as a company. It's not how we roll here. Because at the end of the day, it's obviously gonna be up to you, the consumer, on which motorcycle cell phone mount system is gonna work best for you. Hopefully you'll be armed with information after this video. All right, let's dive in and check this mount out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell icon every time those are hit, another biker joins a revolution. We'd certainly love to have you be part of it. All right, so just hanging out here in the Law Abiding Biker store in Union Gap, Washington. So I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the background of Quadlock and that company. All right, so what I'm about to tell you is all on their own website. You see, Quadlock actually started out in 2011 as a Kickstarter campaign. And it was a couple of bicyclists that started the company, not motorcyclists. And so they really developed their product from the ground up uh, for a bicycle and that specific environment. And so at some point, I'm sure the company was like, we need to expand our market. So they figured they could use their mount on a motorcycle. And so what we saw is they started really pushing their mounts, giving them to different motorcycle influencers. And we started seeing them pop up on YouTube. And of course, now in our social media feeds. And so because they were originally designed for bicycles, they actually have had to try to make at least one adaptation and an issue they've had putting it on a motorcycle, but we'll talk more about that when we're in the shop looking at it. And the other factual thing, and it's right on their own packaging, all of their products are made overseas in Chinese factories. With that said, taking it out and looking at it, I would say the build quality uh, is satisfactory. All right, so I actually purchased the Quadlock directly from their website. And I will say, when I first went there, it's actually rather confusing, and that's because they have so many upsells and parts and add-ons and accessories, but I was able to sift through it and eventually got the one that we were gonna test. All right, so similar to the Biker Gripper, they do have a perch mount option and a universal bar mount. However, you can only get theirs in black and they have no chrome option. So I bought their perch mount with their MagSafe case, and that's one thing about their system. They want you in their Quadlock ecosystem and you are required with their system to actually use their proprietary cases, which in my opinion are rather bulky. But with that said, they do have another option where you can just get the quad lock and with sticky tape, you can attach that to your phone or case. But again, I don't like that personally because now you have a big bulky mount off the back of your case. All right, and so for this basic setup, $105 which is much more expensive than the Biker Gripper. And during the shopping process and at checkout, they are really trying to upsell you some things. There is probably one thing you should get that I think should be included. I'll get to that when we're in the shop. But I just wanna mention some of the things that they try to upsell you. And so look in here, we've got colored levers, colored rings, MagSafe wallet, battery packs, screen protectors, and a whole bunch more. So again, they have really tried to uh, make this complete ecosystem. And so 105 just to get in the door, and then you start adding all this stuff, you're $150, $200 before you're done. So interestingly, they sell a waterproof poncho for their case, which is another argument why I don't like proprietary cases. I would like to just get my own waterproof case if I'm in that environment and run it in the biker gripper. 
All right, and if I haven't mentioned, this company is actually out of Australia. And so I just wanna talk about our background a little bit. You see, we're a company of motorcyclists. And this particular product was developed uh, for motorcycles and that environment from the ground up, not for bicycles. Now it's worth noting that over the years, I have personally seen our biker gripper mounted to bikes that have went down at speeds, not only on-road, but off-road. And to date, a phone has never come out of the biker gripper head. Now, admittedly, that even surprised me. And that's because the biker gripper head has 18 pounds grip strength. All right, and one fact about the biker gripper that we are very proud of is it is completely manufactured right here in the United States of America, not in an overseas Chinese factory, America. And yet we're able to keep the biker gripper at a much more affordable price than the quad lock system. All right, so really we've been testing the biker gripper over the past 10 years and there have been small changes made. We use this mount exclusively on our street bikes and our off-road adventure bikes. It works well in either environment. So obviously, if you wanna support the USA, our economy and our workers, then honestly, the biker gripper is really your only choice. So we've looked and to date, we still can't find any other motorcycle cell phone mount that's actually made in the United States and not farmed out to a Chinese factory. And if you wanna find all those other junkie mounts, they're all over Amazon and eBay and other websites. All right, so on display behind me are our biker gripper mounts. We actually make it very easy to choose the one that you need. There's really only four to choose from. I'm gonna explain that in a minute. We don't upsell you anything either. When you purchase our kit, it already comes with everything you need, including the head, the mount, spacers, standard, and metric bolts. All right, so I'm gonna start with our first two options, which are our most popular sellers, and that is our perch mount system. You can get it in chrome, or you can get it in black. And of course, it's got the biker gripper head on it. All right, and I already mentioned that this is crafted in the USA using a patented CNC machine process using aircraft grade aluminum, which at the end of the day, just makes this sleeker, lighter, and stronger than the competition. So these perch mounts are nice. They simply replace the two bolts on your control clusters, left or right side. Of course, we provide those bolts in the kit and then this goes in its place. Of course, it is a ball head, so you get a lot of swivel action and adjustment on the biker gripper head. And I'll just reiterate that the kit comes with both standard or metric bolts, so it's not just for Harley. All right, so now I'm gonna show you our next option, which are also very popular, dependent on your needs. And this is our universal mount system. You can get this in chrome or black version. And this fits seven eighths to one and one quarter inch handlebars. Very simple, comes apart, clamp it on your bar. Kit comes with spacers if you have the smaller bars. And again, the biker gripper head. Everything you need comes in the kit. All right, so at the end of the day, you really only have two options and that is universal and perch mount. But each of those comes in black or chrome. So that's where I get the four. The kit, obviously I said, comes with everything. It also comes with actual uh, hex head wrenches so you can mount this. And it literally takes a couple minutes to mount. And while I'm standing here at the display, don't forget, we also have our Biker Gripper GoPro mount. Same universal for your crash bars or your handlebars. It's got the GoPro head and thumb screw. All right, now if I haven't mentioned, all this of course is available in the Law Abiding Biker store. Links in the description below. I also wanna mention, if you wanna put it in your car like I do, we have options for that too. We've added our awesome suction dash or windshield mount, and we also have a vent mount option. All right, so when it comes to the actual biker gripper head, this is a injection molded DuPont thermoplastic, and it's actually got polyurethane fabric on the insides, both sides. That helps protect your phone, obviously, and it provides grip. And the best part is this literally has 18 pounds grip strength. And if you're wondering how wide this goes, the grip range is 1.9 inches to 4.2. So it can fit the biggest of your smartphones, no problem. And I haven't even mentioned the best part of the biker gripper where it smokes the competition. That is, it literally needs no proprietary case or locking system. I love that about it. I run my phone naked a lot, I can put it in there. Um, when I'm adventure riding, I might put something like a life-proof, waterproof case because of the rain and dirt and mud, but that's my choice. And I can get the style of case I want and I'm not locked into a particular ecosystem. All right, and so in my opinion, you just get a much better motorcycle cell phone mount with the biker gripper at a much more affordable price than the quad lock. 
Now, I'm gonna put links to the Biker Gripper in the description below. And to be completely fair, hey, maybe the quad lock system is right for you. I have no affiliation with that company, but I have no problem putting a link to their product also in the description below. All right, now that you have a background on both companies and a general idea of the different products, let's head back to the shop and dive in deeper. All right, so looking at the quad lock here, we have the perch mount one. One of the things about it is I've learned you gotta set it and forget it. What I mean by that is it does have some ability to swivel back and forward, and then of course side to side to get your phone where you wanna view it. But in order to do that, you cannot do that on the fly. You can't do it while you're riding. You literally have to get a bolt here on the side and you have to loosen it up and then adjust it where you want. Like I say, once it's there, that's there. So now when it comes to the biker gripper, totally different. You literally, because this is a ball head, on the fly, you can adjust this all the way around. You've got lots of options. And again, you can do this literally going down the road to get that sun glare off your phone or whatever the case may be. Additionally, you can literally, because some apps I do like running, you know, portrait, and then there's times I run stuff in landscape, on the fly going down the road with the biker gripper, you've got that option. All right, and when it comes to landscape mode on the quad lock system, definitely more difficult. Probably not something you're gonna be doing on the fly all the time while you're riding down the road. The reason I say that is it's a quad lock. It's got the tab system. It's locked in portrait right now. As I'm riding down the road, in order to do that, I've got to push this uh, obviously with my thumb, the release system, and I've got to turn this. Once that gets to a certain point, uh, if you're lucky, you can keep pressure and get it turned, but you do have the risk because the tabs are out right there of losing this phone onto the road. So it's not secure through that whole process. So that is a risk. All right, so having spent some time with the quad lock system now, I think I'm comfortable saying it is a little bit finicky. You do get better at it, but you just gotta understand, uh, this is a system with four tabs here and the four tabs have to line up in here. Now you generally know from experience just where to put this, but you've literally gotta put it on there, feel for the tabs, get it lined, pressure, and then get it locked in. And I don't do that perfect every time. And if you miss one tab, that's what happens. So you gotta have nice, it's gotta be even, and nice even pressure to get it locked in. So in contrast to the ease of the biker gripper system, which that's it, pull one side, pop out, put in, it's that quick, any phone, any case. That again is not falling out of there. 10 years, thousands and thousands of miles uh, cross country, your phone staying in that boy with that 18 pounds grip strength, even the crashes we've seen it go through, the phone stays in, but it's super easy to get in and out of the system. All right, and just real quick, if you go over to the Law Abiding Biker Store and find the product pages for our biker grippers, there's a plethora of information over there on them, along with videos at the bottom. Not only for your mounting options, but also we show you how to mount them. So I'm in front of my adventure bike. And again, I just wanna mention, I'm not a fan of systems with these proprietary cases, these ecosystems that you have to use. I don't like big thick cases unless I'm on my adventure bike like this. Now, quad lock does make a weatherproof uh, cover, so to speak, poncho they call it, but I didn't see that they even make a waterproof case. Anyways, that's why I like the biker gripper, simply put, my phone, you know, in my life proof case when I'm off road, it's wet, muddy, dirty, and I can use any case I want in the biker gripper. All right, and so quad lock out of the box, uh, it seems of good materials and build quality. The one thing you will notice with it is that it's very thick, this stem, and really sticks out. It's very noticeable due to the uh, internals they had to put for the swivel and adjustment actions. And that's obviously in comparison to the biker gripper, our stem, of course, it's made out of that aircraft grade aluminum for durability, and it gives us the ability to have it very thin and very sleek on your motorcycle. All right, so I wanna do a little bit follow up and remind you that this was a bicycle mount to begin with, and then they started trying to put it on motorcycles, and they've had to make some adjustments over time because of that. So one of the biggest complaints on their website reviews is the fact that this has a ton of vibration to the point that it's actually damaging smartphone cameras internally. So they realized it was a problem, obviously, so now they make a vibration dampener. And of course, they don't include that with the mount. It's an extra 20 bucks. If you're gonna get this mount, I would strongly suggest getting that so you don't damage uh, your camera in your smartphone. In my opinion, if it's a problem and there's a lot of vibration, 
it should be coming with it. Just my opinion on that. All right, and with the biker gripper, you don't have to worry about that because it was well thought out and it's actually baked in. You see the arms within the biker gripper actually move independently of each other to absorb shaking and vibrations. All right, and better yet, this beautiful rubber pad with our awesome biker gripper logo. No, it's not just for looks. It actually provides grip and isolation from high frequency vibrations. So I don't wanna get in the weeds too much, but I wanna talk a little bit about wireless charging heads on these cell phone mounts. So at this time, Quadlock does have an option for a price of a MagSafe head that you can put on their unit. We currently don't, it doesn't mean I'll never have one, but there's some reasons why I haven't been eager to develop that. So the first reason is, if you didn't know, for longevity and battery health within your smartphone, it's actually not good to just be throwing it up here every chance you get, because you got to, to put it on that if you have that kind of mount, and thus you're degrading your battery life and health. You're actually only supposed to charge your smartphone when it actually needs it. Additionally, for a MagSafe charger, you've got to have a power cord running up here anyways to charge that head. All right, so really at the end of the day, it's gonna be up to you obviously uh, to purchase the motorcycle cell phone mount that's gonna work best for you. But hopefully uh, you could see that I kept this video very objective between the differences between these two mounts so you can make a more educated decision. All right, I'm popping a couple of videos on the screen here for you. Hopefully something useful or entertaining, heck, maybe both. At any rate, when you're done watching videos, make sure you get out there and ride every chance you get bikeaholics. Peace.